It's a big diamond, but I'm not talking about a wedding ring. It's the red, white, blue, and yellow diamond label on chemical tanks and at loading docks. Let's learn how to read it. Hello, I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief. This is where we talk about health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites. The National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, started a labeling system for hazardous materials way back in 1960. The label's been nicknamed the Fire Diamond. It was originally designed for firefighters to quickly read a container in case of a hazmat emergency, but all workers should know how to read an NFPA label just in case. The NFPA label is required by NFPA Standard 704. The label is a diamond and inside four smaller diamonds. The top diamond is red to tell you about flammability. Left diamond, blue to indicate health hazards. Right diamond, yellow on chemical reactivity. Bottom diamond, white, telegraph special information on radioactivity, acidity, poisons, or other things. Each of the top three diamonds has a number, zero to four. Zero means no danger, four means look out. It's the highest level. The top diamond, the red one for flammability, will say zero, not flammable, all the way to four. The contents will vaporize at normal temperatures. The left diamond, the blue one on health hazards, has a range of zero, no health hazard, up to four, lethal. The right diamond, the yellow one on chemicals, will say zero, stable, up to four, can explode at normal temperatures. The bottom diamond, the white one, is different. Instead of numbers, it uses letters or symbols to give a warning. Some examples, POI, P-O-I, contents are poisonous. W, the contents react violently with water. ACID, acid, contents are acidic. Radioactive symbol means just that, the contents may be possibly, uh uh-huh, radioactive. Make sure that emergency workers and your employees can quickly see these dangers. Try using an industrial label printer to print your own NFPA labels. There are many choices. Of course, we'd love it if you would consider one from Creative Safety Supply. That's it for this episode on NFPA labels, Reading the Fire Diamond. Come back for more tips and techniques on how to stay safety compliant in today's ever-changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, sponsored by Creative Safety Supply. See the website at creativesafetysupply.com. 